All right, let's talk about how not only to find x and y intercepts, but also how to use them to graph. Uh, bear in mind, we're still on linear functions, and we're dealing with lines in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. All right, so we want to graph a linear function using intercepts. So we want to graph f of x equals negative 2x plus 4. All right, what the heck are intercepts? All right, so before you read ahead on the solution here, let's just, this, this is what you need to do when you get stuck on the exam, okay? X-intercept. We are intercepting the x-axis, okay? So we're crossing the x-axis somewhere. What does that mean? That means that y equals 0, all right? That's what this notation means. X-intercept is the same thing as y equals 0. And so I'm going to set y, or f of x, equal to 0, and I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to subtract negative 4. I guess here I'm adding 2x and then dividing by 2, and I'm getting x equals 2. All right, my, so my x-intercept is at the point 2, 0, 2 on the x-axis, okay? And so you can see here why the y-axis, or why the y-value is 0, okay? So again, I'm crossing the x-axis somewhere. That means the y is 0. All right, what about the y-intercept? All right, conversely now, we're crossing the y-axis somewhere. If I'm crossing the y-axis somewhere, that means x is 0. All right, so the way I'm going to solve this equation is I plug in 0 for x. And as you can see, I easily get 4, which we should already be able to look at this f of x equals negative 2x plus 4 and say, hey, Angie, of course the y-intercept is 4. It's in the position of b. Yes, it is in the position of b, and the algebra way to get there is to plug in 0 for x. And so we can see our y-intercept is indeed 0 comma 4. All right, so now let's work on, on graphing this. All right, well, we already said the x-intercept occurs at 2, 0, and we found the y-intercept at 0, 4, and based on these two points, we can graph our line because it only takes two points to graph a line. All right, and I'm just throwing that, th throwing the domain and range in here so you guys just keep in mind that because it is a line, the domain and range are negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, let's go through it again. Here we have 4x minus 5y equals 0. All right, let's find the intercepts. All right, I plug in 0 for x, so if I'm plugging in 0 for x, which intercept am I going to get? Well, hopefully you're thinking y-intercept. Okay, so I plug in 0 for x, and I get a y-intercept at the origin, or 0, 0. All right, let's do the x-intercept. So I plug in 0 for y, and I get the origin for the x-intercept. Now. My x-intercept and my y-intercept for this particular line is the same. It's the origin. Can we graph a line with only one point? And I hope you're all shaking your head. Well, heck no, we can. It takes two points. It does take two points. All right, and so how am I going to find the other point? All right, well, I can just plug in something for x. And so you see here, I plug in 5 for x and I get y equals 4, right? So again, I plugged in 5 for x, and I get y equals 4. That means I get the point 5, 4 on my line. And so in my math lab, I can plot 0, 0, and I can plot 5, 4, and connect the two points. Okay. That's interesting. All right, use the graph to find the slope and y-intercept and x-intercept, okay? So here's one where we're just given the graph, all right? And we're going to try to get to the, to the um, form of the line just by simply looking at the, this purple line. Okay, so we have an x-intercept of negative 3, 0. 
and we have a y-intercept of 0, negative 1. Okay, so can, you can use these two points and calculate the slope, okay, algebraically using the numbers, or we can just see how we're moving here. All right, so I can see that I'm going down 1 and right 3. Down 1, right 3 gives me a slope of negative 1 third. All right, so I have my slope, my, my m, and I have my b, my y-intercept, and I can use these two numbers and write the equation of my line. y equals m negative 1 third x plus b, which for me, my b here is negative 1.